Today we're going to look at if-then statements in Google Sheets using the if formula. The if formula is a great formula to use if you need to calculate a text or a value based on several conditions in your spreadsheet. So for example, here we are looking at calculating commission rates and we can use different conditions to specify the commission rate. For example, amount, where it is sold to, or perhaps the lead source. Or we could even use the name of the agent. So we're gonna just use a couple different conditions and show you some different scenarios to give you a better idea of how to use the if formula in your own project. So for a very basic, we're gonna start with if, and we'll use the lead source. So I'm gonna start with the first cell and assume that if we have word of mouth, the commission rate is gonna be 8%, otherwise it's gonna be 5%. And so we look at our formula. The first part is our, what's called the logical expression. This is a, a statement where we want to evaluate to either true or false. And so here we have cell G3 equals word of mouth. And so if that's true, it will return this value. Otherwise, it'll return this value. So if I let this return and go down, we can see everywhere that we have word of mouth, we have 8%, and if not, we have 5%. And so here we can see we have G4. Does G4 equal word of mouth? No, and so therefore we get 5%. So let's go ahead and update this. Now we have several things we can do. Let's say we want to just change this to F and go to California. We can do this, drag this down, and now we can see every time it's in California, we have 8%. But if we need to do multiple criteria, there's a couple of ways we can do this. So first off, we can use a thing called and. And so we could say if G3 equals word of mouth and F3 equals California, then it's 8%. So this and is going to make sure both of these evaluate to true. So this is only going to return 8% if it's California and word of mouth. So here we have California trade show and it's 5%. Another way we can do this is we can nest our if statement. So let's say we want to look at first is F3 California. And if yes, so we can immediately return a value or we can do what's called nesting and use another if statement. And here we could do is G3 equal to word of mouth. Now, the useful thing about this is perhaps in California, we have a different rate than everywhere else. Perhaps instead of 5%, the California base rate is 8%. And so maybe when it's California and word of mouth, it's going to be 10%. But if it's just California, then it's going to be 8%. And so what we have here is if F3 is California, then we're looking to see if G is word of mouth. And so if both are true, then we'll return 10%. But if it's in California, but not word of mouth, then it's going to be 8%. And so now, what about the rest of conditions? So now what we have here, and you can see in our pop-up, so we had our logical expression here. If true, we had our value here. And then if this first part is not true, then we have an additional statement. So we could even do another if in here and say is G3 equal to word of mouth. And so now what we have is another if statement. And so we've determined it's not California. And so maybe everywhere else, if it's word of mouth, we have 8%. Otherwise, it's 5%. And so now we can finish closing our if statement. And we can see here we have 10%. We populate this down. So here we have New York. So F4 is not equal to California. So it's going to go ahead and skip this one since it's false and go to this second if statement. And so now we're looking, is it word of mouth? No. So it's going to return 5%. And that's exactly what we see here. So let's go to another one that's word of mouth. I don't see one here. So let's go ahead and make one up. Word of mouth. You can see now this evaluates to 8%. And the reason being, F3 is not equal to California, so it's looking at the second one, and it's G13 equal to word of mouth. True, and so we're returning 8%. Maybe we can make this a little more clear. If we go to 7, drag this down, and so now our New York word of mouth is 7%. 
And so that's how you can do a nested if then. And so we're saying if F3 equals to California, then this, else this. And so you can nest as much as you want. You could add more conditions in here. You could add this if D3 is greater than a thousand and evaluate these. And it was not true. You do this other statement here. Now, the confusing thing that you can run into with these nested, nested if statements is where to use the parentheses to close them. And so something that may be helpful is to break it down. So you can use like this, drag this down. If you use control enter, you can actually delimit these on different lines. And that helps you to keep a little better track of where you are in your if statements. So here, we can close this one out. And then now if we hit enter, we have our conditional statement. So in this one, we have a little more complicated. We have if F3 is California and we're word of mouth, then we're splitting up based on if it is word of mouth and it's over a thousand dollars sale, then it's 10%, otherwise it's 8%. And if it's not word of mouth, then we have 15% or 10%. So this allows you to do all different kinds of criteria and achieve the desired results. So one last thing we want to address is perhaps you need to use an or. So perhaps you want to do if it's California or word of mouth. And so you can use this or. We drop this down. You can see the or will render true if either one is. So this way we could say if F3 equals California or G3 equals word of mouth. And then we could say that would be 10%, otherwise 0.5%. So we put 1% there. Drag it down. Now you can see if it's California or word of mouth, it's 10%. Otherwise, it is 5%. And so that's the basics of the if-then functionality in Google Sheets using the ifs. There's plenty of functionality in here. It can be confusing at times, but if you parse through it, you can figure out in the end and achieve the result you're looking for in your spreadsheet. That's it for today. Check back soon.